When's your expiration date, babe? Oh my God, it was yesterday. Okay. <laughs> it was yesterday. Let's go home. Welcome back to the pod. Welcome back to the pod. My name is um, Jeremy. I was like, wait, I was like, what, what and random duo girlfriend. are we doing today? And this is my girlfriend. I am girlfriend Lauren. Yeah, you like that. Girlfriend Lauren. And welcome to a safe place. Welcome to a safe place. If you're joining us today for the first time, consider this a safe place. If you're joining us for the 78th time, also a safe place. If you're joining us for a number of times between those two, there are more episodes to watch. Fuck off. Just go watch the other ones, then come back to this one. Just kidding. Also a safe place. Also a safe place. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you need a safe place today. Yeah, I, I uh, would not disagree. Uh, in, not for any particular reason, just for an amalgamation of reasons. Yeah, for sure. I, I definitely had a hard internet day today. I, you know, there should be a little counter at the end of the, and actually probably very similar to the mental health counter, but just like the, the difficulty of which a specific day and by specific day, I mean the people that, that decide to interact with your day, mm -hmm. make your day at the end of the day. Wait, say that one more time? It's like a counter of like how difficult the day was to deal with. Oh, 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 oh. So you're not Based just like, on... why am I so like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's like, no, no, actually this was, it was a, it was a, right. it was a, it was a, a D minus on an internet day, which actually led to this feeling. Right, the way right. that my aura ring tells me like what my sleep score was and like what my readiness for the uh -huh. day score is like, I want to know what my internet harassment score was for today. And it's like, is this why I feel so heavy right now? Harassment's tough. How about um the- No, um, no, no, harassment. The level of, you know, like on like uh, just different modes and campaign modes for your like video games? Yes. Like, was it an easy day? A medium day, a hard day, a uh, impossible Advanced day. day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Advanced day. You know what I'm saying? You know, har harassment's not the right word. Harassment? Harassment. 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 Yeah. How do you spell it? Harassment? Harassment. Uh, you okay. are- Your ass better be meant to be nicer to be tomorrow. Yeah. Day. Yeah. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. And like, and then I feel like everyone can relate to that. Like how difficult did everybody else make your day today? Very difficult, very difficult. But it was in general, <laughs> yeah. you know? No, no, hundred percent. I was actually having this conversation with someone who uh, was having a conversation with me as an influencer uh -huh. for the very first time. And not, not about me specifically. They just literally never had a conversation with an influencer ever at some point. G got it. Do, do I, I, I feel like I know which one you're talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. This like corporate exec guy mm -hmm. had just never met an influencer before. And um, I think his kids are like kind of young. Right? For, for whatever reason, he'd never crossed paths with an influencer. And he was shocked, just like absolutely shocked to know that um, a lot of creators read the comments. Shocked, absolutely shocked. He's like, why the fuck would you do that? And I was like, well, like, there's a certain element that felt like you have to have your ear to the ground to like know what's like, and it sucks that you can't just automatically filter out the good and the bad and the constructive and just like the ignorant, like there's no way to filter all of that, but it like, was- Like there's no quality filter that is actually reliable. That's actually reliable. Right. Right, right, right. And like the hard part is that like there's specific words that you can blacklist, but like you might not necessarily want to blacklist all of those words. Right. And anyway. also some probably get caught up. Some probably get taken away that you probably would have liked to have read. Totally, totally right. So it's like, you have to kind of use that blacklist feature sparingly. But like what I really took away from that conversation is he was like, no one's meant to have that many people having an opinion about your day, no. like your life. And I was like, holy fuck. I was like, yeah, my, what? Like up until the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years of like being a creator has like been a thing. Like there is just no world where our brains are formed to have that many people having an opinion on anything. Well, like in my world, if someone who I'm like, you know, uh, colleagues with commented on a thing that I did professionally and I just like didn't agree with them and they legitimately were not my boss, mm. I could choose to be like, nah, good. Okay. Okay, Whereas good. like, you kind of have this weird thing where, you know, like if you were like submit a project or a paper and like peer review time, mm -hmm. but it's, you know, you don't really need to listen to people, but in my world, they don't really get the chance to like give me that feedback. Whereas yours is like, here's 97,000 literal opinions <laughs> on the work you just put out into the world. That's exactly my job. Yeah, but like, that's part of the job. It, I mean, it is part of the job, hundred percent. And no one said it was going to be easy and nobody said that it was going to be peaceful. And here it is, here I am, not peaceful. Not easy, nor peaceful. <laughs> Who do you think handles internet uh, 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 criticism the best of people that you know? See, I mean, like, the, I think the issue is that the people that I think I would 
say, maybe outwardly handle it really, really well, but like behind the scenes, maybe they're fucking dying. You know what I mean? Like maybe they're super struggling. I have no idea. Like I think about Remy and I um, have given ourselves the self-proclaimed title of baby back bitches because we're just very sensitive. We're very, very sensitive. Remy is a sensitive little little, little dove that we're, should be protected. We're sensitive at all bitches. Costs. Yeah, we're sensitive bitches. Yeah. And that's just how it is. And like would see like I don't want to say that I would have done anything differently career wise, right? Had I known like the velocity and strength that like opinions being placed onto you would be at this point in my career. Like I, I would do exactly everything the same over and over again. But God damn, it's hard out here for a sensi bitch. It's hard. And I think, and I think actually, you know what? I've gotten a lot of feedback too. Like when I, from other creators, I guess, and I mean, this is like the hard part is that like, when I put something out uh, publicly saying that like, I'm having a hard day today. Today is a hard internet day. I get so much incredible feedback from other creators and whether that be big or small, or even just someone who's like put out any kind of work. Like it's helpful, I think, to humanize the experience of having a lot of opinions on your work. Right. And that it's not fucking easy. I think of people like Tana, right? Who always just seems like she's fucking being boss ass bitch doing whatever she's doing, you know, hustling her hustle. And like, you know that her mentions are probably fucked up with like You think people are being mean to Tana? catches a little bit of heat for, you know, some things. Fair. And and just like the way that people like that are able to navigate and make it seem like they are just having a great day every single day is is crazy to me. Is crazy. And like I don't know if I'm just missing something and I'm too sensitive or if that like they're I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I get it. I need to go to I need to go to brain camp. Well, you no know what you need is to enter the safe pay Safe pace. Safe pace. Enter the safe place that is safe place with the Tillies. Safe place That's where with we the are. Tillies with the Tillards. We can talk about whatever we want. We can say whatever we want. We can say however we want because it's a safe place. Okay, well, what do you have to, what do you have to tell the Tillies today in the safe space? Oh, I, I could say the same thing in a not so safe place. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Other, it's me, it's others me. Others criticism yeah, yeah. bears very little on my soul. Right, right, right. I feel yeah. like my Finsta is also a safe place. It definitely is. Yeah. I feel like I sometimes don't even realize just how safe of a place your Finsta is. and. Every time I get there, I'm like, wow, this is a completely different- Oh, the vibes are completely different. Smattering yeah. of opinions. Yes, yeah. and the best part way. is, is that if someone if someone is not making my safe place safe, I boot their ass out. Is it no longer safe for them? No longer safe for them because they're not in it. And you could go remove follower. Well, and you know, some people be like, but that you're taking the opinion, but it's your safe place. It's my fucking safe place. Yeah. It's yours. Go put that shit on the public account. You can have yeah. all, you can have all- You can be mean there yeah, where can, everyone can see exactly. it. Exactly. I get it. Exactly. I get it. And it, it's a really nice safe place. So uh, would you say that um, your Finsta is kind of like uh, your uh, corporate sponsored HR? You can just go talk about anything? Probably even better. Yeah, I, mean, I wouldn't actually talk about anything in corporate sponsored yes. HR. Yes, I've never actually had, and maybe this is me, but there's never been a time when, when I'm like, oh, I can go be myself and be the oddest version of myself with HR. They'll take care of my thoughts. Right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're Finsta, I feel like I can, I can do that on Finsta. Good. I feel good about that. I'm excited for you. Yeah. It, Two it, safe spaces. To the be clear. Tillies, the Tilly safe space and the Fence safe space. Safe space is a really, really hard thing to say. The old, uh, safe, safe, safe space. space. The FSS. The, safe, 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 the Fence safe, safe space. No, I get it. I get it. The internet, but also was never really meant to be, I think, um, a safe space. It was supposed to be a place where you could share. And unfortunately, others <laughs> shared back. And others shared back in a way that I did not want them to be shared. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, that's how it is. By the way, talk good, talk bad, just make it a view. That's true. Pays the bills. You know, some platforms really don't though. Like that's some fair. of the platforms that have the loudest and meanest people, i.e. Twitter, <laughs> do not do not pay the bills. It would be different. Yeah, do I, not I pay the bills. I think it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It I'm is. fine. Everything's fine. We've got- We're fine. A, so last week we had company. Mom DIY. Mom, yep, yep. This week, a buddy of mine is unexpectedly, but I'm excited he's coming into town. He's probably, no offense to like your other friends, but like he's probably the only friend that I like last minute am excited about coming. When I tell you that when he told me this today that he would be coming to town mm -hmm. tomorrow, like my immediate thought was, well, you're staying with us, right? Versus like, well, let me know when you get here and you know, when you have free time and if it overlaps, I might see it. It's like, no, well, they're very, you're just staying. you know what though? I think there's something too about like 
it being your guest and not mine, that right. makes it a little easier because I'm not like, okay, what am I gonna do to entertain this person? Like, what are we gonna eat for dinner? What are we, what are we gonna do at nighttime? Like, is the guest bedroom made up? Which also, but by the way, Mom DIY left the guest bedroom in the most, it's, Optimal it's state. much nicer now than it was even after I cleaned the entire bathroom, we did the laundry of the sheets, the comforter, the duvet, all of it, fluffed the pillows, put a little plushie there in the middle there for them. The guest bedroom looks even better. Yes. Craig is so lucky. He should be honored. He should. Like, we'll see. We'll see if he like, rese like relieves, if we had like a review right. at the end of it, like. Right, five stars. Mm, yeah. It has to be five stars. It's gonna be, a, a, it's, t this month will have flown by. I'll be 33 by the time we know it because the amount of things that are backing right into the last one oh like my lately God, I are know. insanity. I, I made a TikTok today. I made a TikTok. I made a TikTok. <laughs> no, this is different though. Usually it's, I, I yeah, saw I this saw, thing saw, on TikTok. TikTok. Today you made a TikTok. Today I made a TikTok. Uh -huh. And I um, actually made two TikToks today. Oh. I know. Um, but I <laughs> made this TikTok like rating some of my old outfits that I wore in high school. Okay. And fucking hysterical, like so embarrassing. It, like uh, great, great content. The things change, you know? Yeah, things change. Abercrombie though, is in fact back and better than ever. That is the fucking brand, uh, like brand comeback of the century. Well, it's funny. Abercrombie has been around since about like 1892 or something. Oh my God. And I only remember that because yes. it was was printed on everything. Right, literally it was printed on everything. Right. And so like Abercrombie and Hollister were obviously the shit when we were in high school. The shit. And then I feel like they were like really, really not cool. Like a few years not ago. Not cool. Like really not cool. Cause yeah, they were so, in college, yes. And you will not be invited anywhere. No, no, yeah. no, no, not cool. I felt that judgment. And then now, and I think it started with their denim. And I, I dead ass have four pairs of Abercrombie jeans. I hate jeans. Four pairs of Abercrombie jeans sitting in the downstairs for me to try on tomorrow because- Are TikTok, those the ones that are wrapped in plastic? Yeah. You ordered them from Abercrombie. I, yeah, ordered them from Abercrombie. I love it. And uh, TikTok has truly, has truly revived Abercrombie more than they could ever, ever hope for. Uh, good for them. By the way, didn't they start off as like a hunting and fishing store? Yes. In the 1800s? Yes. And we're not in the 1800s anymore. No, and then they were like a like a half naked male model with yep. really stanky ass cologne yep. store. Yep, fierce. Fierce. I believe is the word you're looking yes. for. And yes, if you're too yes. young to remember that, you missed nothing. Pungent, you missed absolutely nothing. pungent. So anyways, I was making this TikTok and I was like rating and reviewing my outfits from um, high school. And when I went to go caption it, it was like, oh, like here are my outfits from high school in the 2000s, in the fucking late 2000s. And I was like, God damn. I was like, that was 15 years ago. 15. I know. 15. Yet you're still here relevant as always. Yes. Lauren. Today, were people mean to you? Yeah. So they took time out of their day to be mean to you? That's true. At any point in time, someone's taking time out of their day to give you your to give you their energy, uh -huh. that's relevancy. Yeah, you're not wrong. Good, bad, or indifferent. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. Um, but yeah, I was wild. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I wore this in 2000. And so if I graduated high school in 2011, I would have been wearing this from 2008 to 2011. Love that for me. Yeah. One of the outfits was really great. It was a Hollister, a pair of Hollister denim shorts, obviously teeny tiny, like low rise waist mm. and like little mini shorts. Right. Um, paired with an Abercrombie tank top that obviously had Abercrombie scrolled across as, the as, as it does. As it does. And then paired with an Abercrombie zip up hoodie that also had Abercrombie scrolled across the um the chest, but it was zipped open. So it was like Abercrombie revealing Abercrombie. Got it. I also had a skinny plastic headband bug eye sunglasses and an LG chocolate phone in my hands. So what you're saying is you were fucking popular and people <laughs> wanted to hang out with you. <laughs> I don't know about that, but my outfit, what? It was just like the quintessential, like it was, it could have been, I could have been a meme. It basically was a meme. Fucking sick. Fucking sick, bro. Dude, <laughs> pretty cool, pretty neat if you ask me. Yeah, uh, I think our pasts are meant to be made fun of. I'm gonna take it oh, too yeah. seriously. 100%, are you yeah. kidding me? I wouldn't put that on TikTok and Instagram Reels if I wasn't trying to make fun of myself. No, I'm just thinking to myself, now the people that like look like they have their lives together at 17 mm -hmm. and look like they're 25 and not ever like puberty, mm -hmm. eh, went right through it. Like transition phase, never had it. Right where I need to be. Like what are the, like, was that gonna be for like- Where's a, your hardship? Yeah, I just wanna know what kind of character did that build? Where's your cringe phase? Oh, yeah. Like, I'm sorry, you know how to make your eyebrows look good at 16? Get fucked. <laughs> Get absolutely fucked. I don't think I- You I'm, know how to do a cut crease eyeshadow at 14? Get absolutely fucked. Where's your character? I mean, is it just me or do people <laughs> look more, yeah, I just- Are you kidding? 
High school kids look like they're fucking walking out of Euphoria High School. I I know. It's insane. Guys too. Insane. Like are are guys picking up on skincare routines? You know what though? I actually um I think it actually might be harder for guys because like girls can <laughs> make pause. Walk us through that. This is a very I want to make this very clear. I don't want anyone to take that sentence out of context. In this one particular uh, scenario, okay. I think in high school for girls, there's so much that you can do with makeup and clothing and uh, hair and hairstyles and hair coloring. Uh -huh. Like girls, I think, especially like in high school, when you're like going through like the puberty stage of like actually physically growing, girls have a lot to work with to like, you know, transform like what they want to present themselves as. Whereas like with guys, like you kind of like, not got what you got. Not to say that like guys can't wear makeup, but like most dudes, I feel like you've got your hair, you've got your outfit, but like I can make my nose look like an entirely different nose with bronzer and contour. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. And I don't know how I, many dudes currently mm -hmm. are are picking up the brush and going, I could fix this thing, no problem. I mean, Manny MUA. Uh, Manny, of course. And crushing all of us in right. the path. I, I just, I don't know. It wouldn't matter what ad was served to me, who I was watching mm -hmm. in, when I was 17, I wasn't gonna pick up a makeup brush similar to today and fix <laughs> my nose. Whatever, however it came to me is, is what I'm working with. Right, and I feel like if guys are having to not like rely on their like physical puberty growth, but like that's, that's fucking, and, and I feel like guys hit puberty a little bit later too. Yeah. Like a 16, a 15, 14, 15 year old girl, I think could much easily look older than a 14 or 15 year old guy if they're kind of at the same stage of like their puberty. Yeah, but that's, I think, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah listen, I, I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's easier or harder for guys, but like, it definitely seems like the average teenager has more together from an appearance perspective than anyone I knew when I was 15. Yeah, I feel bad though for teenagers right now. Like I think about like how hard my brain works to process opinions now at uh -huh. 28. And I can't imagine being like literally fucking, I don't know, kids have iPads when they're like eight. But I was like, I, I didn't, I was only thinking about the opinions of others when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And there were a lot of them I felt like, now I barely care about what other people think about me actually, besides the people that I'm, I'm close to. Right. And it would have driven me crazy to have had to like deal with all that shit at the time. Oh my God, yeah. 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 I mean, still drives me crazy, but like, I think at my, at like the core of my character, I don't care what people think about like my character. Cause like at 28, I fucking, I like, I know who I am. I am who I am already. But like, I think. Very bold, but yeah. No, but it's true. Like, that's like the one thing that I feel like I do have a, a like a grip on. Your internal brand. My internal brand. Yeah. yeah my internal brand, I feel good about it's been, yeah. I'm 28 now. You know what I mean? Like the internal brand has been set for many years now. I think there's probably some room to grow on everyone, but yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, not to say that like the internal brand is set in stone now forever and ever and ever. I'm gonna right. die at 56. <gasps> oh my God, I'm not gonna die at 56. Oh my God, I hate that I just said that. 56? What does that mean something? It could, <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> let's, get that will, let's get that will figured out. Um, <laughs> I actually have a will. I have a, I have a Canadian will and American will. Really? Yeah. How far up am I on, on the priority list? Well. Well. That's disappointing. Well. Um, but no, I um, <laughs> I think I'm actively trying to spend more time figuring out what I do and don't care about mm -hmm. beyond the things that I naturally think about. That being said, mm -hmm. like it's one thing to be like, oh, I think about this or not. I, it's like I'm spending or trying to spend more time thinking about the things that I should care about or that I, every time I do remember to care about them, I do, but I forget, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, there's some things like you don't think about and then you do think about it and you're like, oh, I do care about that. Yeah. That. Yeah. I'm trying to actively do more of that. I uh, just want everyone to know that my aura ring, just let me know that I hit my activity goal as I sit here sedentary. Um, so that's good. Also got my Wordle today in three tries. Let's go. Let's take it two steps back. So, I literally almost just knocked this frame over being excited about my Wordle and I need you to show a little uh, Super excitement. excited, super excited about the Wordle. <laughs> so the aura ring. So Lauren ordered an aura ring, I don't know, nine years ago, it, it feels like, and it finally came. It, okay, okay. And now, I feel like you've put a lot of stock into this little ring. I actually was thinking about maybe- Not sponsored. Not sponsored. We do not have any reason to love this besides Lauren's interest 
overnight in an aura ring. I literally was thinking about returning it today. Really? Well, I think you get like a 30 day, like if you want to return it, you don't like it. So what is it, what, what did you think that, okay, so tell what an aura ring is and why did you get it? Okay, so I am not one for like wearable tech. I think that I look like a spy kid when I've got an Apple watch on and uh -huh. it's just, it, I think maybe my wrist is too small and it's just- I There will be zero spy kid slander on this podcast, but okay. Listen, if I was on a mission, Fucking spike it me up. Put my put my Apple Watch on. Lauren, every day is a mission for you. Keep going. Every day is a mission for me. It's hard out here for baby back sensey bitches. Yes, yeah, see, I'd say that every day is a mission. And just getting every through it is half of the assignment. It's all really hard. <laughs> Um, but I even tried like having cute like watch bands, but I think because the face of the watch like hogs my entire wrist, it just like gets lost. And you got baby back bitch ribs. Too. I got ribs. Ribs. <laughs> wrists. <laughs> You um, got a little twig wrist. I got a little twig bitch wrist. Like Lauren could work out heavy for the rest of her life every single day. And I could sit on the same couch, do nothing and just eat Cheetos, Fritos and burritos. And I would still have thicker arms than her. Yeah, but th like, th your your bone is no, literally just bigger listen, than my whole I, I arm. I know what I'm saying is you were, you were predetermined. Like you were born with no chance of having a upper body strength. Okay, okay. I want I want Arm. you to remember this when I can do 10 pull-ups in a couple months. Okay. I can do two right now. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, I believe in you. <laughs> I really do. I just think that you're predispositioned to be a twig bitch. I am a twig bitch yeah. who can squat 125 pounds though, may you I sure say. You sure can. My, and no one will take that away from you except no. the internet. Well, uh, yeah, they did. They did. They did invalidate a little bit of my squatting today. Yeah. So anyway, anyway. Back, back to the task at hand. <laughs> so, I like the idea of an Apple Watch. I like knowing like how many steps and just like my general activity level. Um, I don't like having messages and notifications sent to my wrists. If I don't want to talk to people and I don't want to like have things pinging at me, like you can just leave your phone in another room. Like as foreign as that feeling might be, like it is nice to have the option. So like I don't I don't want that shit pinging on my wrist. Um, so Apple Watch is not for me. Tried it for a little bit. It's not for me. And then I, I don't even know where I got introduced to this. Oh, I was at dinner with I Justine, who is um, like a tech reviewer, gamer girl. She's been in the tech space for like 15 years. She's like one of the most, most OG YouTubers that I personally know. She had an aura ring on and um, I made a comment on it and she really sold me on it. So basically it is a smart ring that's got these three little sensors on the inside of your finger. And so far the most interesting thing is like the sleep tracking. You you do, you're very, very interested. Oh my in God, I'm so excited when I wake up and I get to like look at my sleep tracking data. Um, okay, let me just go back a day so we can we can review this together. Okay, so on Friday, the total sleep that I got was seven hours and 55 minutes, um, which, Seems like a lot, but unfortunately I did that in two sections. Mm. I got up for a couple hours and then went back to sleep after yes. I finished some work. So not ideal, but total sleep um, uh, is, is in the blue range. It's looking good. Efficiency, 77%. Restfulness, not great. Also in the red zone. Also in the red zone, um, REM sleep, uh, looking good. Timing, optimal, fell asleep quickly. And then it shows you like a graph of like where your sleep, uh, where your sleep levels were. So like REM, light sleep and deep sleep and all of that, which is really interesting, your your heart rate. And I don't really know what any of this means. I just like, like seeing it. I like to see the numbers, which is fun. Okay. And then it also, uh, uh, oh, oh wait, no, this is on Friday. It says that I a total burn calories, steps. Okay, so I almost hit 10,000 steps on Friday. I definitely did not hit 10,000 steps today. Ooh, 6,000, that's tough. Is there, okay, and does it just kind of throw all this information out at you equally or is there a thing you're supposed to hit and then everything else kind of falls below it? Like, is there is there a goal here or is it just like do everything better? Uh, There's probably a way to set that. Okay. I feel like you need um, a thing <laughs> to focus on. Yeah, I mean, I also just like like being in like a really stressful part of a show, and then also taking my heart rate. Like that's yeah. fun. It's like that's half of the <laughs> like, during the this. I, it, and like or like when I come to bed at, at four in the morning, and you're like, and then Jeremy came in here, yeah. and then it ruined my sleep for fifteen minutes, and then I went back to sleep. <laughs> and now I have the data to prove it. Right. Yeah, I don't know. It's cute, and I think also it it's not it's not super bulky for like a ring that has a whole bunch of fucking texture in it it's it's very small okay i think um, you should give it a, another week i'm gonna give it another week for yeah. sure yeah i'm not i'm not sold on it i don't know if it does enough things 
Um, but I, I, I am enjoying it. I think the idea of like wearable tech that makes your life easier and better and smarter and healthier, but doesn't like stress you out is good. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Like the fact that I can't get a text message or someone can't send me a, a bitchy ass tweet to my ring is really, really nice. If they could, they'd find a way though. Right. Yeah. But in the meantime, really nice. Yeah, like my Apple watch just makes my life more convenient. It feels like I like the health portions don't really care. But <laughs> the like, amount of times, no, no, but the amount of times that we've been sitting on the couch and just like one too many notifications goes off. Jeremy pauses, he throws everything down. He rips off his Apple watch and chucks it across the couch. <laughs> Cause there's more time it's like, I don't know who the fuck thinks that this is the way to get my attention. <laughs> They've got it. And I want to give them zero response. Or it's like you get an email, a tweet, a DM and a text all at the same time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep, <laughs> yep. Fuck. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wearable tech, super fun. Y yeah. They need to do a better job of like prioritizing what's actually a notification and what's like, we'll just let them know when he look, looks next. Right. 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 Again, I don't really need to like to know like how little I've moved or just how shit my blood pressure was today. I feel you do need to know that when I send you a TikTok. Yeah, no, 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 for sure. But you know what? Every time you see me on TikTok, I'm like, oh my God, pause, hey, stop. Everybody hold on. Yes. Can I get 37 seconds to, to watch and then respond accordingly? As it should be. Uh, totally. As it should be. Can we move on to the thing that you said you were gonna tell me about that you didn't wanna tell me about before the podcast began? Because I'm sitting here just curious about it. Is angel numbers. Oh. What is this? <laughs> you said, I'm about angel numbers. And I said, what are angel numbers? And you oh said, God. you go, well, I'll tell you in the back. Well, I just didn't wanna ruin it because it's like such a random thing. So I kind of feel like angel numbers are like the new horoscope. It's so, okay. So let me give you like the the definition just from like and from by the Google. Way, did you happen to hear about this or see about this or find out about this on TikTok? No, no, okay. no, no. You're gonna, it's it's crazy. Like everyone, the amount of people that I know that have their angel number tattooed on them is insane. Oh. One of our friends actually has their angel numbers tattooed huge down their abdomen. Oh. It's like, I swear it's like the new horoscope. It is crazy. Um, okay, so what are angel numbers? So in numerology, angel numbers are a repetitive sequence of three or four numbers that appear in seemingly random places in your life to convey a spiritual or divine message. And like, when I tell you that people are obsessed. Uh, and how do I find, do I, do I Google what my angel numbers are? No, 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 this, babe, they have to come to you. Oh. Your angel numbers have to come to you. Oh, got it. So like when you start seeing so, you know, okay, so the, the original angel number, I feel like is 1111, right? Everyone was like, 1111, make a wish. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, that's like, people love 1111. That's like the OG sure. angel number that people like love to talk about and see and it means something for them. Um, but these are like, it, I mean, it's the same concept, but okay, this article says like, um, you'll see them everywhere, like in phone numbers or addresses, your receipts, um, could be the time that you open your phone to. People call these angel numbers and they believe that these repeated digits uh, are the spiritual universe's way of communicating with you. Your spiritual guide's way of trying to help you see what's on your path, or it's an exciting new opportunity or end of something you need to let go of, da 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 da, -da. Um, So is there, is there, is there, um, is there, is there a number that you feel like you see at any point in your life all the time? Um, no. Really? Not a single one? No. Okay. Like, I, no, not really. Wow, not at all. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm gonna read you some, some angel I feel broken then. for having to know. What? It's like I'm like wrong for not having one of the six. Okay, out. but now that I feel like we've talked about this, now, right. you're, now it's gonna start showing up in things. Yeah. People love angel numbers. And I think, I think it's like a cool concept, like fucking whatever do you. Yeah, I mean, it's not that far off from just having a favorite number in general. Right, it'd be like you're a lucky thing. And I think if you get something positive out of seeing repeated numbers, fucking right. do you, go for you. I mean, it's all to a degree illogical. So having some sense of logic to the illogical makes it feel better. Babe, this is the universe telling you what's happening. And what are, what are yours? I think mine would be 333. Three, three. Okay. I say 333 three, three a lot. 333? Three, three, three. Yeah, 333. Three, three. Okay. Um, okay, so 111, one, one. I'm so glad that we're arming you with this knowledge for when you start seeing your angel numbers. I can't, the amount of times I'm gonna bring this up this week because I can just see them all just filing into my system. Yes. Can't wait. Yes. All right, go ahead. I have Christmas socks on and I'm overheating now. Okay. Oh my God, I actually have TikTok socks on underneath. So I thought again, TikTok. Those are some gross ass socks. All of those need My them. TikTok socks? They all just look a little ratty. No, they just they just got fuzzies on them from the Christmas socks. Okay, well, not Bombas. They're, yeah, Bombas. I mean, they're not Bombas, but like, hey, Bombas, Bombas we would love another sponsor and Bombas. more socks. Bombas. I saw, so I saw this on TikTok today. <laughs> It was just, it was just this like really cute little TikTok of um, this like sock stealing golden retriever. 
And as it was happening, I was like, that's a bomba sock, that's a bomba sock, that's a bomba sock in it's his an mouth. It's expensive little treat that uh, it took away. I know. He was a very cute golden retriever though. I was gonna say, yeah. any golden retriever that wants to come steal my bomba socks, yeah. you can come do it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, I'm so glad, I'm so glad we're gonna walk you through yeah, this. Yeah, okay. okay. One, 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 intuition. And can I get like a quick um, read below people that understand the angel numbers thing? No, okay, right now, I need everyone to comment their angel number down in the comments right, below. Yeah, because like, this is literally the guiding force of the internet right or now. Or that I also do not have an angel number. Right, P pick a side, yeah. pick a side, let us know. Uh, one, 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 intuition, trust your gut, listen to your heart. Two, 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 alignment, you're in the right place at the right time. Three, 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 support. Your spiritual guides are around you, sending you love, support, and guidance. Four, 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 protection, the universe and your spiritual guides are protecting you. Five, 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 change, something new is coming. Six, 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 reflect. I feel like that's kind of like the devil one, right? Six, six, six? Yeah. It's not not. Yeah, that's not not. I'm surprised that this, anyway, so it's supposed to be reflect. It's time to wake up to your higher spiritual truth, AKA break up with the devil maybe. Okay. Uh, seven, 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 luck. Wonderful things are about to happen. Eight, 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 balance. If there was a number that I- Oh, oh, luck, seven. S a seven. That's, seven. A, that's a gambling thing. But seven for sure would be the number that I would relate with. Really? Yeah. Cause you like to gamble? I don't like to gamble. Why seven? I don't know. Okay. Like if, if I were mm. to pick a number, yeah, it would be seven. Wow. Seven's always been my lucky number. Luck. Seven, 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 luck. Wonderful things are about to happen to you, Shmoo. Well, you're right here, so. It what already has. What else do I need? Wow, pick a new number. It has been fulfilled. Great. <laughs> Prayer answered. Uh, 888 balance, everything is falling into place as it's meant to be. 999 release, it's time to let go of what's no longer serving you. I wonder if people whose angel number they feel is nine, if they don't get it, if they, don't, if they wouldn't get it tattooed because then it might read as the devil number if it was upside down. Or like nine's like time to move on, right? Um, maybe, yeah. Wait, didn't, wasn't that the definition? I don't know, I clicked off the infographic already. <sighs> like if you got a number nine and I found out later that it was like, that's the angel number for time to move on, bitch. I'd be like, as your boyfriend, like, um, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I, I don't usually feel self-conscious, uh, but that is not the case right now. Uh, yeah, so intuition, alignment, support, protection, change, reflect, luck, balance, and release. Release, that's the one that I don't really wanna be a part of. Release, right? the catch and release. Right, Right. I, yeah. Yeah, so if you, if, you, if you date a girl or a guy that's got 999 tattooed on them, maybe Ooh. you just you just let them go. And that's not from a, a, like a previous, like it, it would be one thing if it was like, oh, 999 with an X, but right. like if they get a new 999, no good. No good. Right. Got to go. Like as long as you're part of the change, yes. great. Yes. As opposed to the thing that needs to be changed. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So anyways, like as this, as this like whole angel number thing gets bigger and bigger and I know more and more people with this tattooed, and I'm like, is this going to be like a fad? Like, is this going to be like a weird trend that's going to go away? I mean, numbers have been around for a long time. Totally, like numer yeah. numerology is like not something new. And same with like horoscopes and astrology and all that stuff. So like, maybe not, but like, oh my God, the surge at which angel numbers have been pumping at is wild. Isn't it insane what we, like the, the value we associate with higher, with numbers that are higher and lower than each other anyway? Like being second versus being third versus being someone's first versus being someone's second. I was just thinking about this at the Olympics, like when the uh, the semifinal game for women's hockey played, uh -huh. the third place winner was in tears, just like so fucking happy, right? Cause they won their semifinals and they got the bronze medal. Right. And then when first and second played, the team that got second was just like absolutely destroyed. And I mean, like that's just, that's just like how it works. Like that's like just how it works. But getting like being so good, so close, amazing, uh -huh. yet you'll never be the best. No, that's so sad. Yeah, I know. Maybe next year. Uh, listen, I know. <laughs> that, but also that's the point of sports. Like it's a constant ever- Competition. Grow. And also like everyone's got their expiration date. Dear God, 999, release that, release that bad energy, babe. Me? Yeah. Everyone has their expiration date. And if you don't realize that, you haven't even got to the point where you can get to 999. Oh my God, I need a new angel number. <laughs> <laughs> Why is nine your thing? No, you're just no, three. No, I said I was three. Yeah, true yeah, out. Yeah. yeah. No, but like, do you not believe that everyone has an expiration date? I think everyone has an expiration date in pertaining to some activities. Well, by the way, the, the someone's expiration date, speaking of change, like sometimes you need to like let some version of you die so the new one can be like born again. Because if you're trying to keep the old one alive while you're doing the new one, they can both just suffer. No good. No bueno. No bueno. When's your expiration date, babe? Oh my God, it was yesterday. 
Okay. <laughs> it was yesterday. Do you really think it's yesterday? I mean, expiration to what? I don't know. Look, well, fucking give me an activity and I'll tell you when I expire. Um, uh, uh, being adorable. Oh, never. Great. Great. Um, uh, your athletic career? Uh, I mean, what sport? Uh, listen, I, I'll leave that up to you. Mm. Never, mm. sounds good. Yep, never. And lastly, um, uh, uh, your, um, um, uh, I got nothing else. Okay, sounds like I am still fresh and ready to go. See, there you go. Yeah. Uh, speaking of fresh and ready to go, um, <laughs> the thing that I think uh, we both were um, just tickled pink by was that we made new adult friends. Oh my God, yeah. It's exciting. It's so exciting. How often do we make new adult friends? Uh, and I would love to know what our, our thoughts and opinions are compared to the average listener of like uh -huh. how often uh -huh. they're legitimately making new adult friends. Yeah. Um, I would say that I make new adult friends more often than the average person. Okay. Just because I I can make an internet friend very quickly um, because I have a pretty big network. Wow. It's like but, being so fucking cool. No, but like, it's not like you, like, I don't think that there is wealth in friendships of having a shit ton of friends. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'd rather have like a, a handful of like really close friends than like a massive extensive. Ooh, you know what? It just clicked for me. You know what's one of the biggest turnoffs for an individual or, or, or someone ever? What? Is when you, you're acquainted is enough with like they're telling you about themselves or who they are or whatever they do, right? Okay. And they lead you down a full story of like who it is that they are and like who they work with and like like who they, like basically like telling telling you about themselves. Okay. And eventually you speak with somebody else that knows that person later mm -hmm. and you get, you get on the topic of them and their immediate response is, oh my God. And it just it, they literally the list off the reasons why without even like you telling them like, oh, they said you're friends with this and you do this and this like, that. oh my God, you'll never guess that this guy did this and he said this and he used to do this. And like basically outlines why everything that person like was presenting to you right. as who they are is just absolute bullshit. There's nothing that makes my like just skin just like, just sees and like, oh my God, that's, I'm just disgusted now that that person like one tried to like, become friends with me on that basis. But uh -huh. two, like I have no interest with like with hanging out with that person again. Okay, okay. I do have a bit of um, an opposing perspective. I love here. that, go ahead. I think that there have been times where when someone that I am already friends with and trust their character. Right. And I meet someone and they like, oh, I'm this person, I do this, da da da, da, da here are all my things about me, da da da. Mm -hmm. And I lay that conversation and I'm like, mm, whatever, like just met this person. Sure. And then the friend that I trust and already have an established relationship with is like not, gives me a little bit of background on past experiences with that person that have showed them the character that they think. Basically, if like I meet someone who I don't immediately realize is really shitty, but I have a friend who I trust and like get along with really well. Right. If that person in a mature way is like, hey, like I just wanna let you know that like this is some shit that's like happened in the past. Like, especially right. if it's between like them and that person, like I would wanna know that. Totally. I would a hundred percent wanna know that. That's and so not, like- How is that opposing to what I just said? Well, it'd be like, like if I go to that person, I'm like, hey, like I just met this, but they're like, oh yo, like this person did this, 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 and this. Like, I would still wanna know. I, no, I do wanna know. Oh, you do wanna I'm know. I'm just saying like that, that person then tell, like someone that I know and trust telling me about this other person who is just explaining to me who they, they are. Yeah. And it's like, there's just, it, they, they've just poked holes in like every step of the way. Yeah. I do wanna know that. Oh. I'm saying that like, there's nothing more like ick to me than like finding out later on that like, wow, that person just presented themselves in a way that either they're completely lying to me or they actually think that's the truth. And that is not the truth. Oh, you're talking about the ick of the other person. Yes. Oh, I thought you're talking about the person, like the ick of the person who starts talking shit about that person. No. Oh, no. that makes Ooh. so much sense. There's zero, there was zero opposition there. We just agreed. Got it. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. We're on what we call the same page. I am actually in the current decision-making process oh? with a newish friend if there is some about this literal situation. Really? Yeah, yeah, with a with like a newish friend. Um, Do I know this person? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. <laughs> but I'm literally in the, in the same situation. Can you situation. Just tell me right now and then we'll just delete it? Uh, yeah, so my new friend. All right. 
Continue. So she has been not like super hanging out with, but like has, has casually a few times hung out with a certain person that I think has a very terrible character and has been terrible to me. And like, I am considering like how to approach the conversation. Oh, I'm fascinated. I was, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do because I also like, I also think that like this friend and I are very similar in a lot of ways. They seem very nice. Right. And so like, I, I, here's where I go back and forth. I'm like, I don't want to seem bitchy. Like I don't want to seem like a shady bitch. That's like trying to get them to not be friends with this person. Right. Or like no new friends. No like, new friends. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm not at all trying to like gatekeep people. Cause also I don't want them on my fucking, in my gate, within my gate, stay the fuck outside my gate. But <laughs> your safe space. This is my safe space. Get right. the fuck out. You're not welcome it. in the safe okay. space of the tillered safe space. Right. And oh my God, this is fascinating. But I also, I also, if it were me, I, if I had the ability to have an expedited path to not waste time potentially getting fucked over by this person or having them display their shitty character at my expense, you know what I mean? Like, would I want that fast pass of, like having that explanation, like I think that I would, but like, I can't make that decision for that person. So I've been going back and forth in my head and with a few of their friends who are also friends of this person trying to decide how to navigate the situation. I can't believe you didn't tell me about this. You're booked and busy, baby. There are a lot of layers to this thing. There's a lot of layers. Wow. Yeah, and I, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I'm not, I'm, it's been, it, I'm not even kidding. There is a small group chat that has discussed this in length. Okay, so new friend is I love has been kind of hanging out with Okay. And that's the person. So we're trying to protect Right. from So we're going back and forth, trying to decide how to navigate the situation. I also am having a current deja vu right now of this conversation that we have very clearly obviously not had before. Oh my Are God. Are you sure? Am I seeing numbers? What's going on right now? <laughs> but I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Would love to get your thoughts. I have an idea. What's your idea? Have you and this individual uh -huh. discussed their friendship with this other individual? No. So you have no reason to bring it up? No. So you have two options. One, stay the fuck out of your their business. Yes. And let them find out. Yes. Two, um, create a scenario maybe where um, the next time you see uh, the topic be timely for whatever reason, you find a way to- there, the the. the there is a timely topic. There's a very easy entry point to this conversation. Do you want to take it? Yes, yes. The answer is yes. I do want to take it. Save for me. I would want. I would want the entry point to be taken. I would want to be told. Okay, then. Then the only other question is this: Are you going? Let's say in the worst case scenario, <laughs> right? It gets back to this individual. Yeah. That you don't like. Uh huh. You don't respect. True. They don't like you. True. They don't respect you. True. If the absolute truth comes out. And you're so right. And if the absolute truth comes out and yeah. they were to hear this person you don't like that you confronted Told or them. exposed or even discussed at a very, yes. very, very positive, yeah. transparent matter, yeah. what you said, yeah. would you be upset? No. Then fucking bring it up. You're so right. If the truth is not something you're scared of, go find that truth. You're so right. I would put that shit on the internet. Then what do we, what? Go. Great talk, babe. I can't wait till the group chat, the logic that we just worked through. This is, this is a really good safe space session. I, sometimes I wonder the things that you guys have just like hours and hours of discussion on. The amount of times that I have told you that is very stressful up in my brain. I'm a baby back bitch. If you sensi feel proud. Ass, noodle stick ass bitch ho. Controversy aside, <laughs> drama aside, bullshit, people talking behind your back aside, blah, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. If the person that you want to be is someone that you're not scared of, Go be that fucking person. My mom always gives, this is my mom's favorite analogy is that um, for like lying and being truthful, she was like, she's always says that like, she always says, if you wouldn't want like what you're saying or what you're putting forward or whatever you're, you're feeling like if you vote, if you wouldn't want that plastered on the front page of your city's newspaper, like, would that dictate yes or no of what you're gonna do? But also that's very dated because uh, yeah, no, the, the yeah. newspaper, no one really reads that anymore. But right. okay, if you didn't want that to be a trending topic on, on Twitter. The, on a, yeah, right. Or maybe the For You page. Or, or the For You page, right. would you still feel the same way? Would you still wanna do whatever you wanna do? Would you still be the person that you wanna be? Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it needs to be that extreme, but yeah. Right, and so that's how she dictates like, 
not I don't know, I guess lying's not right well, the word. But, but also the, I'll even take the flip side, more aggressive version. Would you want people to know that you had the path to do the thing that you thought you were going to do and you decided against it? Right. That's equally as important. That's, that's my, my brain, yes. But it's true. Every yeah. time you don't take an action because you're scared is also a really big and important piece. Yeah. Wow, I can't wait to tell this person how much the other person sucks. I can't wait for it as well. I am so relieved that this decision has been made for me and I can't wait to tell the group chat. Good. <laughs> great talk. I, I feel good about wow. it. Wow, I feel great about that too. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, anything else we can work through? <laughs> Let's go back to adult friends though. Okay. Um, Because we just met a couple who moved here from New York and they moved during the pandemic, the pandy wandy. Pandy wandy. And yep. um, it's, it's so <laughs> interesting. The pandith The pandith of wandiths. It's so interesting and fascinating to hear their process of making new friends because they both work remotely, they work from home. So they're not going into office, which I feel like it's like your first place of meeting new people. You're forced to be around someone from nine to five. And like, right. you're, you're true. Like, even if you like only like someone, but that's the best, like your best friend at work. Your best, yeah, your best work friend. Yep. Totally. Um, and it's so I would even go say your best guy and girlfriend at work. Yeah. 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 It's always true. It's always true. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's it's so, I, I feel bad. It's hard. It's fucking hard out there. A coworker who moved to LA, um, like one of them was telling me that she's thinking about signing up for like a random like sport or something <laughs> just to make friends. And I was like, honestly, like, that's a pretty good not idea. idea. Yeah, not a bad idea. Yeah. But she's like, I don't go into an office and she works for like a massive corporation. So like the amount of people that she would have normally been exposed to, to like potentially meet and be friends with, like not an option. Also her job from my understanding as well would be a job where it's not appropriate to form relationships and friendships with everyone that like you interact with. Like some, oh, pe totally no. some people's job, yeah, like no. I, I am able to form a relationship with anyone I interact with. Right. Like I can make friends, I can find the way to like, I choose to bring them into certain situations or right. choose not to. And like, it's completely at my discretion. Yes. Like just sort of like me, like, boxing someone out that should be in a conversation. Yep. Like I don't have to bring anybody in. I also can have my quote unquote favorites because they're the people that I work best with. Like it's literally part of the job. Mm -hmm. That's not her job. She no. doesn't get to do that. Nope, nope. And That's so she really was talking hard. about like how it gets, yeah, it's fucking hard to make friends as an adult. So it's like join a club. You know what though? I feel like any kind of membership place where you're gonna start seeing kind of like regulars and obviously like that has money involved. So like that, I know it's not super relevant for everyone, but like, We've been going to this dog park that requires a membership, and I've I run into the same people there all the time, and I'm like, I'm I know your name now at the dog park. Lauren, Lauren's ability to be social when she's with Moose versus when she's not two different things. Like I, I genuinely the, <laughs> the the thought of like using my dog as a social tactic is my last resort. Where really? that's Lauren's first. Yeah, it I just happens naturally when I'm with Moose. No, I, I know, but like you can strike up a conversation because. Moose is being weird next to someone. Yeah. Whenever, where I'm like, Moose, stop being weird. Let's go. <laughs> Why would you tell her something to be weird? Why would you tell him to suppress well, his weird? Would, he would never be weird. He would perfect. never be weird. Be perfect, never be weird. Always weird. Yeah, he's always is, perfect. I just don't enjoy the, um, what I, what feels like forced conversation while dogs are mingling. I'd rather pick someone and have a, an intentional conversation with them. Oh my God. Okay, see, when you do it, it's I feel it's the absolute opposite. So like you were making small talk with a guy while waiting for your hot dog and your tacos at the Super Bowl. And I was like, this is so fucking awkward. I was like, I wish that I was not here right now. I was gonna just sink into this wall. <laughs> and I was like, I wish Moose were here. Really? <laughs> yeah. Because I was just talking, we had to wait until we both got our hot dog. That felt to me like a forced conversation. Okay. Yeah. All right, listen, I get it. I just feel like there's nothing wrong standing there next to a stranger waiting for your hot dog. You know what I mean? You know what, I, I, you know what it was? I looked at him, he was wearing Cincinnati orange, uh -huh. right? He was alone. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of chaos going on. And I wanted to make sure that the guy in Cincinnati orange, who was probably in LA for well, the first time or had never been here before, felt like not everyone who wasn't wearing Cincinnati orange was like out to get him. So I wanted to make small talk so that he knew it wasn't just the world against him at that moment. A charity worker. <laughs> Call it what it is. I think it's really, really, when you, when you leave a city mm -hmm. and you're like, I had no good experiences with people. Like that's like a, a, a mark where I would want to be able to go to a city, have a great time, meet people. And I'm like, oh, they were fun or interesting or nice or unique. And so I was trying to be that person. That's so nice. And you wanted to just melt into the wall. Yes, God. yes I did. <laughs> you wanted to find a safe space that was probably in your seat away from anyone you hadn't already made a connection with. Yes, there was all just like so much fucking chaos happening that like, the last thing that I would want to do is create more chaos within small talk. I, listen, I get it. Yeah. I get it. Just me. I get it. It's just me. Lauren, um, 
Are you aware that you're about to go to um, more new places in the United States than I've ever seen you experience in the next like six months? Oh my God, I know, I'm a little stressed out. We're going to like New Orleans? Uh-huh. We're going to Lexington? Uh-huh. We're going to- When are we going to Lexington? Oh my God, for that Ralph's. wedding. Yeah, Ralph's wedding. Oh my, what month is that in? No idea. But we're going to Lexington at some oh point. Oh my God, we have weddings out the ass these next few months. Uh-huh. Um, oh my God. Where else? There's gotta be more. Uh, we're gonna go back to Canada in June. Or to Canada? We're going to Miami, maybe. We're going to uh, um, San Diego this weekend. We're going to- uh, Oh God. My <sighs> home body. Might be going to Qatar. My home Might body. be going to- Okay, hang on. Vegas, let's, let's, might be going to- let's, 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 let's break down all the travels. Let's break down all the travels. So this weekend we're going to San Diego. Um, basically Jeremy was like, let's go on a staycation. And I was like, I love a staycation, yes. And so I found the cutest Airbnb in San Diego. And like kind of has like beach vibes. And fortunately it's large enough for the new people that are coming into town last minute. Yes. Thank Great. God. Love that for us. Great. So good. So we're going, and we're literally going from like a Sunday to a Thursday. So just like a new change of scenery to work, I guess. I'm also gonna make a bunch of content there too, which is great for like vlogging and doing, you know, fun stuff in a new city. Um, so San Diego. And San Diego's like fun. It's a fun city. I haven't been in so long. The last time I went, I didn't live in LA. Got it. Yeah, I went with my family on a family trip. So we're in San Diego. Mm -hmm. Then we're coming back. Yep. And in March we've got- uh, A wedding. New Orleans. Nope. One got in it. LA. Got it, we got an LA wedding. Yep. We've got- is that it for March? That's it for March. <laughs> I, have, I have a crazy busy March. Okay. It's nuts. I have no idea how we'll do this podcast every week, but we will. Uh-huh, I know, I was just thinking that. And then April, we're for sure going to have some travel. Yep, so we've got a wedding in New Orleans. New Orleans. Which I've never been to, very excited. I, I'm speaking at a couple events. Okay. That I feel like are mostly in LA, but I'm not quite sure when I think about it. Okay, and then Coachella is the weekend before the wedding. Okay, we gotta figure that out still. Uh-huh. Lauren's like, uh, the fact that you've never seen me do like any public speaking, um, excites and scares me for you. Cause I think you'll just be woefully annoyed, but also like, ugh, I knew that was going to be as easy as it was, as it was. I think it's going to make me, yeah, like, it's going like, to be like. like <laughs> the last time that like, I feel like my friends tagged along with me to like watch me do some public speaking. They're like, oh my God, I can't people believe like people are. Eating this up. Buying your yeah. bullshit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, that's exactly how I feel like I'll feel. Excuse yeah. me? Yeah. I have some valuable information to yeah, share. Yeah, that's exactly how I think I'll feel. You guys 100%. are all so rude. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Anyway, no, 100%. that's why they're asking me to speak, not you. <laughs> um, and then we just have like, like Miami in, in May and maybe some Qatar this summer. I would love Canada. to go to UAE. UAE. When does it get hot as fuck though? Are we gonna- Always hot as fuck. Okay, but like, is it, is it gonna be like too hot then? It'll be ridiculously hot. Okay. You'll be uh, complaining the entire time. I was gonna say, I'm pretty heat intolerant. Pretty exciting. Um, we might have to pod in San Diego, by the way. I was thinking that. Should we pod in San Diego? We'll pod in San Diego. Yeah. It'll be fine. Are we, how, what are we gonna do? How are we gonna set it up? It'll be fine. Okay. We'll worry about that later. Wow, San Diego pod. San Diego pod. San Diego pod on the beach. Pod. Um, and um, that's all I can think of for now. I think that's all we've got so far. But, and Lexington, Kentucky for the wedding. Oh, that's right. What month is that in? We should double no check idea. that. Yeah. We'll look at that. We, I feel we like- We should book some flights. Yeah, we should book some flights. We've got weddings out the Yes, I feel like I feel like uh, you know as things open back up, weddings are happening. I should probably go to a tailor. I was just thinking that I need to. You know what? I it's so funny for the wedding that we have coming up in March. I have a dress from two years ago that is no longer in style. <laughs> is that bad? It's it's not that bad, but it's definitely not. You looking for an excuse to buy a new dress? Yes, absolutely. Okay, buy a new dress. Yes, I'm gonna buy a new dress. All you have to yeah. say. Yeah. What if I told you don't buy the dress? I actually asked too about the color scheme type of thing and oh. what they recommended is not the color that I have. Oh, well, it's very important that you follow their directions. Um, yeah, duh, I'm trying to be respectful guest at the I wedding. Told, listen, I get it. it. They actually told me that I could wear white because uh, they, because there's no one wearing white at the wedding. Gay. Gay. Love that. <laughs> um, Love gay weddings. I have, we've never been to a real wedding together. Isn't that so crazy to think about? Well, we went to like that one weird, like not real paper signing situation. Moving on. <laughs> uh, I'm excited for the weddings that we're gonna experience. Yeah, me too. It's gonna be so fun. It's I'm so fun. excited for the New Orleans one. She was telling me the bride was telling me about how you go do the parade. By the way, there are a lot of people flying in for that wedding. That like I know that's gonna be a party. Oh, I'm excited. It's gonna be a rager. And so you do the parade around the block or something. I don't know. If you're from New Orleans, please let us know. But I've heard multiple people talk about it in the last like randomly the couple weeks. The last wedding weeks. that I went to was in New Orleans, I think. Oh yeah, that's right, with your mom. Yeah. We had just started dating. Yeah. 
You sent me a tasteful nude from that trip. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> well, on that note, uh, we did an episode with Mom DIY last week, if you hadn't seen that. And um, mm. should we have Crypto Craig on the pod next week? Maybe. 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 If we can rein him in. If people will accept Crypto Speak, yeah. I think, yeah. My favorite is that you just get slammed for it and no one even bothers with me. Someone- I wish someone would fucking come for me and I found the time for them. Uh, okay. Oh. All right, all right. Well, <sighs> on that note, uh, thanks for joining us for our safe space. Yeah, thanks, Lafia. Appreciate you. And everybody else as well. Okay. Goodbye. Bye, all. <laughs> <laughs>